Well, good Tuesday afternoon to you. Y'all know who it is. It's me, Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord of mercy. Looks like it's finna pour down raining again. Well, we are going to enact plan B on the hay feed system that we're going to use to feed the goats in the big paddock. So give me a second and we're going to get down to it before it starts just uh, pouring down raining. <laughs> All right, y'all, what I have is just some old regular hinges, and all I'm gonna do is attach these hinges to um, this frame. Need to be careful how I'm put these hinges on here because I want them to, I want this thing to uh, go a certain kind of way, and that's the way I want it to go. So let's go on and put these hinges on here. And I'm using some uh, one and a quarter inch all weather screws. We're going to put three screws in each hinge for a total of six because we're going to put three on the bottom side of the hinge. Now the tricky part is going to be doing this by myself. What I intend to do is mount this eye hook hopefully to the top of this, uh, this frame and I'm going to use some chain to hook up the eye hooks to this kind of, I don't know, clevis thing. And that's what's gonna hold this, this frame in a semi uh, slant, so to speak. So we'll get to that when we get to that. So we're gonna drill a hole on the top of this thing and mount this eye hook, something like that. I don't know if y'all can see that. Hey, Sugar, what you doing? All right, that's gonna do it. So let's proceed into the, the goat paddock and see if we can't get this hay frame mounted up to the two by fours. So give me a second. All right, y'all, we in this goat paddock now. I gotta watch these dang goats because these jokers love climbing on stuff. Hope y'all can see that. But let's go on and get this thing mounted up on this two by four right here. Okay, let's see. All right, sugar. Watch out now. All right. Kind of see how that's going to work. Hey, he's going to go in here. Goats are gonna eat it from this side. I think it's gonna work out pretty good. Now, what I need to do now is I need to put another eye bolt up here with some chain, and I might stick it this way, with some chain running from the other eye bolt to this eye bolt right here to hold it in place. Go on, no, go, go. Buck, go on now. And again, we're just doing some eyeballing here. Sugar, get down. Get down. Sugar, go. Get down. Get out of there. Go on. Get. Y'all get out of here. Go. Now, this chain, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Get. Boy. <laughs> Tell you what. These guys are something else. Cut it out. Get down, sugar. Buck, go ahead. You know what? I didn't bring something to cut this joker with. So, pause just a second. And we'll see if I can find me something to cut this uh, chain with. All right, y'all. I went ahead and finished this up because I had like goats jumping on me, trying to knock over the tripod, uh, stealing my tools. Uh, this is what it ended up looking like. And I'm going to get this tripod. I'm going to get this camera off the tripod so I can show you. Matter of fact, I'm going to go get the other tripod and I'll show you close up. All right, y'all. Let's get this one more try. Here it is. And that's how it's looking. I went ahead and ran these eye bolts in and I just got some, uh, I don't know what these things are called, kind of like hook things, with some chain, another eye bolt with another one of them clip things and see how that's working. 
and I'm just gonna add the hay down into here. Of course, there we go. Everybody's gotta climb and do their thing. But this is pretty sturdy. I think it's gonna work. Let's go get some hay and put some feed hay in here and let's see what they do. And then uh, I'll bring you right back. All right, y'all. Believe it's working. And all I did was just put some hay down in that V. They've been jumping on it, but there we go. One of them wants to jump on it. There we go. I don't want to eat from the bottom. I just want to eat from the top. So there we go. So there you have it, y'all. I'm pretty excited. Actually, I'm pretty happy. Seems like it's going to work out pretty good. And they're going to have to work to get that hay out of there. The uh, waste factor is going to, I think, going to be small. There's going to be some waste, but, you know, it's, it's just not going to be huge piles of uh, feed hay laying on the ground. They're going to have to get after it to, to get it. And I think, they, uh, I think they're liking it. All right, we're going we're gonna to chalk this one up as a success. There you have it. The uh, Plan B hay feed system <laughs> that I put into the, the big go paddock. I believe it's, uh, it's going to work. If you like the video, hey, give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up really helped me. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Six channel, y'all need to come on over here and give me a look now because I'm like always doing something. Really, always doing something. With that being said, old Dan's always going to say, you know it's coming. Don't let nobody dull your shine, especially when you're making a Plan B hay feed rack thing for your goats. And we'll see you and y'all in the next video.